Media in Johannesburg. This is the Real Economy Report. Local pump and rock drill manufacturer Scamont Engineering has launched new rock drill systems to significantly increase mining extraction volumes and improve safety levels for operators. Elan Solomons has the story. The Shova rock drill systems are new semi-mechanized rock drill technologies which are suitable for applications across all hard rock mining environments such as ultra-low stoping widths as well as gully and development end applications. Scamont Engineering Director Ross Williams explains more. There's a couple of unique factors. Um, the first being that we, what we strive for in all of our drilling applications is, is, is something called inline thrust. So where the thrust provided to the drill towards the rock face is in the line that you actually want to drill. Not at an angle that makes it harder for the operator to move or for him to handle the actual machine itself. It gives faster penetration rates, more accurate drilling. So what we have is a system where the rock drill is held stable up against or between the hanging wall and the foot wall and the rock drill is, is thrust by pneumatics up directly in line uh, perpendicular to the strata which gives you the perfect roof bolting result. Um, it's also able to be operated remotely from up to three meters away by the operator so he sits in a safe position whilst drilling the roof bolt. Williams also highlights that the face advance provides for easy fast colouring thereby ensuring unmarked drilling for rock drill operators. He further points out other advantages of using the system. Well it has been a bit of a journey getting it right. Uh, the, the principle of inline thrust is all well and good but uh, the methodology of getting that right in, in terms of the system has been, has been a, a real journey of R&D um, and a test of patience. Um, what it offers though the system now that we have it ready for market is a number of safety and um, mine efficiency features. So in terms of safety, what, what's key and what all the mines are wanting to achieve and, and, and not being able to achieve to date is to get the rock drill operator, the RDO, out of the danger area. The problem is with every other face advanced drilling application or any drilling application, as we all know from trying to put a picture up at home, the further in you drill, the deeper the hole, the closer you get to the, the, the surface that's being drilled. Um, and uh, we all know from getting chips in our eyes while we're putting up that picture that it's not a very pleasant experience. It gets louder, it gets more dangerous and, and harder to handle. Our, our system keeps the rock drill operator under supported hanging wall at all times. The drill gets closer to the rock face, the operator doesn't. He also can stand to the side of the machine so in the event of a gas pocket interception or some sort of blowout, the machine will blow backwards and not strike the operator, which is another source of a number of injuries. Um, it's much quieter because the drill is operating in a, in a sealed tube, so there's far less risk of um, noise-induced hearing loss, less exposure to vibration and far less physical exertion. You saw it yourself when you were handling the machine a few minutes ago. You start it up, it runs and you're not carrying the weight of the machine. You only effectively handle the machine when moving it from uh, one, drilling one hole to another. So that's, that's the work that's required. The machine does the rest. Williams outlines Scamont's vision and plan for the future to enable it to cater to the needs of its customers. Well, we, we have experience in mining uh, from our pumping days. Um, we've learned a lot along the way. We, we'd like to think we understand what our client needs and we're able to, to provide that. What we are is, you know, positive displacement pumps, for example, have been around 5,000 years. We didn't invent them, but we improved them. And we provide a quality service, a quality product and a quality service with all the backup that goes with it to our client. We are a South African manufacturer. We're not an agent for anyone else's product. We've always been determined to be our own manufacturer of our own range of products. And that has enabled us to grow um, into Africa where clients appreciate that kind of service, that understanding of the product and the application that it operates in. And we're learning the same about drilling. Um, we want to be a comprehensive, not just a, a someone who throws a rig over the fence and tries to sell as many drill rigs as possible, if they're used properly, they can be used more safely, more efficiently, and enable mines to be more profitable and more sustainable. And that's what we want to achieve through our kits, is mining systems, drilling systems, rather than just a piece of product that we sell you out of a catalogue. Other news making headlines this week. Investors slam skewed incentivization of mining top brass, and Chinese multinational launches in style. Mining shareholders have not made money due to skewed ways in which mining top brass are incentivized. Many company executives um, have done what they were incentivized to do. At the head of these companies sit strong operational people, geologists, uh, metallurgists, and these you know, very highly skilled mining people. So the top of these companies, and they are soft targets for investment banks and fund managers. And the reason they're soft targets is because 
they are incentivized through a share price mechanism and not through operational metrics, not unit cost or life of mine or those sort of operational metrics. They are incentivized to get the share price up in the shortest amount of time. Chinese multinational heavy machinery manufacturing company XCMG held its opening ceremony at Baumalkan Expo Africa 2015 after officially launched into the South African market in August 2014. Uh, XCMG specialise in uh, general construction equipment. Um, they have a very, very good range which makes uh, them very flexible for a number of different applications. Particularly in Africa, um, there's, there's a big demand for infrastructure uh, development and XCMG's range of products suit this perfectly. So road building, general uh, infrastructure projects, they are absolutely perfect. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.